this time on Chasing Lines. We work on the Hilux, as always. You'll see. The tub's gone. That's what we're going to do. Alright, morning. It's Friday, two days before Christmas. I've got obviously some time off because everyone has time off for Christmas. I've been out, I've bought the steel. So if I don't fuck things up, which I'm sure I will, um, I should have enough. We'll see. Um, so yeah, we're build, starting to build a tray as of today. So let's I'll take you along. So I don't have much of a workbench, so two toolboxes is working for me because it's flat. But yeah, that's that's going to be at the front of the cab, like at the cab, uh, and this is the tail light end. So. Can't really see much of it as of yet, but we're getting there. As soon as I get started, you guys saw me getting started, I run out of welding gas. So I'm off to uh, Gas World to go and get some more. I might get some bits and pieces, some supplies while I'm out there. Uh, I think I may have screwed up my uh, calculations on the steel as well, so I need to go and get a little, little bit more. That's all right. Everything's still open today. So. All right, so I'm back with the welding gas. I kind of went ahead without filming. Um, so, like all those ends will be capped. So the tray's actually upside down at the moment. So that is number plate and lights, like reverse, brake tail, bar, whatever. Um, so that on the inside there will be sheeted uh, and then we'll just basically mount all that shit to that. So then the lights are actually tucked in 60 mil. So they're you know, pretty well protected. Like This is essentially identical to the last tray I built for the single cab, which I mean, if you've seen the old videos, you would have seen it. But um, yeah, so, and like I never, ever, ever had an issue. So this time I've decided to go a little bit shorter. So overall length is 1450 um, by 1800 overall width. So like it, it works out at like 17, 17 something um, internal width and like, 1425 usable length so like it, it's not too bad like I've got I've got a good bit of space which would be really really good um, so yeah I'm just waiting on a couple of batteries to charge kind of having a bit of a break because it's hot as fuck uh, and then I'll keep going I will then cap those bloody ends uh, those ends and those ends but yeah I just Battery's gone flat on the grinder and it's a pretty good time to have a bit of a break, so we'll get back into it in a sec. Alright, still waiting on batteries, but I've just killed killed another battery. So that's one of the end well, one of the sections capped. So you can see I've got to fill in more, uh, which I knew I'd have to, but that's okay. Just gotta grind back a touch more. There's just a little bit of a ridge there where the weld was. But it's all nice and smooth. Um, I've got to fill in just those little holes. I've got to still grind that off, obviously. Um, but yeah, ba battery went flat. Dog. Um, the other side, not so pretty. Hasn't been bloody grinded at all yet. The welder was not cooperating with me while I was doing it. So, yep. <laughs> we will just see how it goes when I grind it. But anyway, we're getting there. We are certainly getting there. Too bad. Yeah, needs to go up a bit, get a bit higher, and then um, 
then I think should be right. Pretty happy with that though. That's what if I didn't stuff around yesterday, that would be one day's work. Oh, hopefully the uh, music in the background doesn't get me fucking copyrighted. But I got um sheet steel, so we can sheet the tray. Because now, as of now, I am spending Christmas alone, so I'm gonna just work. Why not? Fuck it. So yeah, we're gonna sheet the tray probably tomorrow. So tomorrow is Christmas Day. Today is Christmas Eve, obviously. So we're gonna um, probably sheet the tray tomorrow. Hopefully, there's. No I don't think there's any neighbours around tomorrow. So fingers crossed, no one gets the shits with me betting on the grinder. But we'll see. I'll check back in in a bit. <laughs> so, where are we at? We are, I'm back from Christmas, I went away for a couple of days, left this here to leak and think about its choices. The tray is sitting on here at the moment, just sitting, well, it's tacked down so it wouldn't move around. Um, <coughs> the headboard, I'm not sure about, it's a bit big. Tail lights, I had to drive it to the shops, don't fucking kill me. Um, yeah, so I've got, from what I think, I've got the last of the supplies that I need to finish it. Apart from, what, reverse lights and tie down rails. Oh, and mud guards. I don't have any mud flaps. Like, I just, I couldn't get them in time, so they're not even. Uh, but I've got everything else to finish it. I've got paint, I've got carpet, fucking all of it. So, let's get into it, shall we? <laughs> building a tray on the car, on and off the car, because you don't have a tray on, and then it's pretty well too red hot to go to the shops to get shit. Like, bloody welding wire, just ran out. I thought I had heaps. Turns out I didn't. Um, so, yeah, this is a fun one. I need, need welding wire. I can't finish the tray without welding wire, but I can't put it on, because I can't lift it by myself. So, don't know, we'll see who can possibly come and help me, but it is between Chrissy and New Year, so it's like, fuck, there's no one around, so we'll see what happens, but anyway, first sheet's on, so, um, it's only 1.6, but I think it's working pretty well, like, it seems not to be flexing too much, I ended up chucking more supports in it, um, just because like, I'm going to put toolboxes and stuff on it, so I want it strong. Uh, and I did automotive grade uh, sicker flex on each one of those supports so I'm going to drill through them and plug weld them as well but sicker flex is just so any gaps that there is it's not going to rattle because there's nothing more annoying than a rattly tray but anyway we'll see how we can sort some wire is done. Um, I've carpeted it. Um, got tail lights. Doesn't have reverse lights. They're on their way. The Christmas post. Uh, same with the mud guards. This, the cellar is away. Whatever. It's, it is what it is. I've got, I've got some cavar belt rubber. Um, yeah, I, I can hold all the important things. The only thing I don't have on here is gear. Um, yeah. Now that the tray's on, I'm noticing how badly the Hilux lean is. So the Hilux lean is, <coughs> I think all Hilux is pretty well do, especially in any solid axle. 
they tend to lean to the front driver's corner. And everyone's like, oh, well, you know, it's because the that's the side you get in and out of most and whatever. So I need new springs, that's whatever. Um, but, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Um, I've already had some criticism on Facebook, which is fine, I guess. I think it's kind of rude, though, considering I'm really happy with it. I mean, I know the car, so I guess at the end of the day, that's actually all that matters. So, yeah, but I'm stoked on it. Um, it looks really good in my eyes. Uh, just needs, what, mud guards and reverse lights, and, and it's finished, finished. I want to go camping in the next couple of days because New Year's is coming up. Um, so I'm trying to decide whether I chuck the rooftop tent on, like, like put make a um, ladder rack and chuck the rooftop tent on, or just chuck the swag on and see how it goes. So I don't know. I'll make a decision when I feel like it. Anyway, thanks heaps. I think that's going to be the end of this video. So that's been how to build a tray in one video, I guess. If I had to put a number to it, it's taken me four days, I reckon. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. See ya.